Midnight Shadow. We don't have to talk about this one, bruh. Today I'm going to be ranking every slasher in Survive the Night. And remember, this is going to be only my opinion. I'm the best player in the game, so you know, my opinion counts. I'm just talking facts, you know. So yeah. Uh, and remember, there's no traits. So we're gonna be ranking every slasher with no traits, no bundles, no anything. So yeah. Let's start with murder. Enter a rage to chase down survivors. Basically, get max speed for 15 seconds straight, it's really a good slasher to deal with loopers, roamers and even trappers. And it also counters a lot of combos against survivors and it's also a pretty decent slasher to get from point A to point B. So I have to give this a nice A tier. Next up, Myers. Hides all source of basic survivor detection. Basically, you become a sneaky boy. Your footsteps are silent, lights don't break and no heartbeat and no aura effect. It's the perfect slasher to jumpscare people. Nobody has a damn clue where to go, and Slasher could just sneak up to you. Oh, and did I mention that you can get extra damage when you disable ability? Oh hell yeah, this Slash is really good, but it can be still countered in many ways, like Sonar on drone users or the Merch Helmet, and many others, but I'll still give this a strong A. Next up, Exterminator. Shoots a nearby survivor. So the Slash has a gun, and he can shoot and deal 75% damage. This slasher is really good dealing against tanky loopers, just shoot once and hit them and it's over. But there's a few downsides, like you can miss the shot and roamers especially adrenaline and legman users because they are one hit anyways, so it doesn't really affect anything. Overall, I will give this a B tier. Commander. Injure and immobilize a nearby survivor. Basically, you're near a player and you start choking them, dealing half damage. All roamers hate the slasher because it can counter really easy. If you get too close to the commander, you're screwed, and also disables your ability in the time period, but the slasher can't hit you before the period ended. The slasher is pretty good, you can also use your ability if the survivors are against the wall or a door. Downsides to this is mostly trappers, hiders and tanky users. I'll give this like a B tier. Goal. Face through obstacles and gain a small speed boost. You can oak clip through any door or barricade and traps. Really OP slasher in door maps because you can just face through any door when using ability. This counters mostly any door looper that is trying to loop you with doors. And the fact that you can also get a speed boost is a bonus to catch the survivors quickly. Downsides are it doesn't work so well in outdoor maps. Only thing benefiting is small speed boost and avoid getting slowed down. I will give this like an A tier. Doctor. Instantly kill with your next attack. So basically, you deal infinite damage when you use your ability. This ability is really good against any tanky users, especially flamethrowers. If you activate the ability before he uses the flame, you can just one-tap him, and it's done. There's a few downsides, like roamers, because they're one-tap anyways, and you can only hit once with the ability active. So if they hide in a bush or a box and you have your ability on, it's no use. A few good sides are you can use Doctor like Lady. Instantly break door, but the cooldown ability is much longer than Lady's. So I will give this like personally like a, I don't know, a B tier. Animatronic. Place an array of cameras to see through. Basically, you can place down cameras and see through them and see if survivors are there. You can also hear their briefing, but that's not all. If you use the camera and exit it out, you can see everyone highlighted and it's very overpowered in outer areas because it highlights has no limit. So you can basically see anyone. There's a few counters, such as guest house, which has walls everywhere, so you can't see everywhere, which makes it useless. And if you just hide in a bush or behind a wall, Slasher won't see you. Overall, this Slasher is an overkill in outdoor maps, but they're pretty bad in most indoor maps. I would give this like an A tier, just because it really depends on the map. Lady. Instantly break doors and lockers, doing a small amount of damage to survivors. The slasher is really fun, you can just smack through doors and also deal a full hit on survivors with ability. It's fun trolling with overshield users because the ability ignores staggers and just hits through the shield and kills you, which is quite funny. A few downsides are like flamethrower, because you can't use it when I'm burned, but overall it's pretty decent slasher. I will put this at A tier, but I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know ladies hitboxes are, I, I don't know, they're kinda weird. I miss a lot of the times when using ability, which pisses me off lol, so I will just put this at B tier. Chainiac. Revs a chainsaw for a small speed boost and a series of quick attacks. If you hate loopers and want to be like speedy slash put on steroids, then this is a slasher for you. Activates its ability and you go crazy, hitting twice as fast than speedy slash for 6 hits. 
really good to counter most loopers and just overall break wires and doors. Some downsides are like the ability activates a chainsaw noise which is really loud and you can hear it from a long distance so survivors know where you are. Roamers also counter the slasher but the slasher can still be a decent at times. I will put this at the beat here. Enera reduces survivors visibility and become immune to blinds and slows. When they mean reduce survivors visibility, they really mean it. You can't see anything and you also gain a speed boost and you can't get slowed down. This messes up a lot for the loopers and even roamers who are trying to get away. They might run into walls so you will catch them easily but the ability only lasts for 10 seconds. Which isn't really the best considering if you know where you're going, then you should be fine for the next 10 seconds. I will overall put this at B tier. Nightmare. Pull nearby survivors into the dream realm. Basically, pull any nearby survivor into a house where their gear is disabled for 30 seconds. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the slasher because when you kill the survivors, you still have to wait in the house which wastes time and it's really annoying. Especially if there's more people around and you mostly only teleport one person and then the rest people can just escape while you do the business in the dream realm. The slasher doesn't have many counters but it will be really annoying facing guys like flamethrower because you can't even teleport to them using your ability. I would personally give this like a C tier just because it wastes a lot of seconds in the dream realm. Hunter activates hunter vision to boost hearing and survivor visibility. So basically you have a thermal vision where you can see players from a distance and also boost hearing for survivors. Yeah iron lung users, you're screwed. And you also clock to be nearly invisible. This slash is great to see people from far distance but there is another slasher that basically does the same thing but better, which is animatronic. Because animatronic you can see people from unlimited distance while hunter has a limited distance. But other than that there isn't that much to it. If you have good eyes you can clearly see the slasher. It isn't very invisible since the slasher makes some ambient noise when you're using ability so you know what direction he's coming from. And uh, the slasher mostly only works in outer maps since you have thermal vision. But the slasher could be a clutch if you lost some players or got blinded and didn't know where they went. Because activating ability you can hear people from further distance so you could find them much easier. But mostly the slasher is sort of mid in my opinion since it doesn't counter any sort of looping or trapping. The slasher mostly works on like people who are hiding so I would personally put this at C tier. Venom. Gain a brief speed boost and when it ends does a massive area attack. It's like murder, but at the end it does like an area attack. This ability lasts for 7 seconds, which is pretty short. The air attack does double damage on survivors and break doors if in range. Slash is pretty decent against most loopers and roamers. It could also bypass any shield. Yeah, I'm talking to you over shield users, so you could also have some troll with them. The slasher could also be used as lady to break any door nearby. But to be honest, I haven't really felt using the slasher that much. Since I don't need to sacrifice shorter speed boost for like an area attack, I like the 15 second speed you get and the time frame you get from another spot pretty quick. But maybe I'm just biased, overall I will give this like a B tier. Lodge Papa, slow yourself and nearby survivors while rapidly damaging everything nearby. This slasher is pretty funny against any tank users. Basically you get slowed down but deal half a hit for 7 seconds straight. Which can kill people using thick skin perk if they got caught in the first second. Sadly, if there is more people around, they could easily get away from you since the slash will mostly work on one player and you get slowed down so they could just get away pretty easily. The range when you can activate ability is pretty short so you have to time it correctly or else you will waste so much time and become slow so they could just easily get away. Some good sides are like lady replacement which can break doors, not as fast though but still decent quick. But other than that this doesn't really work on roamers or trappers or hiders, mostly on loopers. I would personally give this like a C tier. A Nairo. Place down a trap that will injure and curse the first survivor that approaches. The slash is really annoying to deal with on good maps with a lot of loop spots since if the slasher just puts down its traps, well it's over for loopers, you can't loop anymore. If they get into the trap, they will deal a hit on a survivor and you will be infected which pings the slasher your location for 60 seconds. So roaming around would be pretty much impossible in door maps. The slasher could also be used against most loopers since you have uh, your ability ready. You could place your traps inside the player when you're close to them dealing a full damage and if they have 0 HP you will be permanent slow 
which makes it impossible to get away, making it easy to kill. The slash is pretty cool in my opinion, but if you're just smart enough to not go in the traps, you're good to go. I will personally give this like a B tier, just because it doesn't work on all maps, mostly indoors. Arachne. Place down a large cluster of webbing that obstructs survivors and must be cut down. Basically, you place down a big web which you have to cut down. There are like 6 webs you have to cut down, it takes around 3 seconds to cut down one web, so it will take around 18 seconds to cut down all the webs, place in one spot. This slash is pretty good at trapping survivors, but it's basically like Onario but slightly worse, since you can just cut it down, unlike Onario trap. The, the good part is you physically can't get through the web, unlike Onario, well, unless you have deep plant rig perk, but let's just face it, nobody uses that. So the slash is decent, but god damn, this slash is so big! You can see the slasher from miles away, because he's just a thick boy. So yeah, uh, other good parts of the slasher that it counters like mostly loopers and roamers, and even trappers. Which is pretty good, and you also can hear it from a distance if people are cutting it down your webs. Revealing the location obviously, you have to be pretty close to them, the webs, for you to hear it if you're coming though. And this slash really relies on the map you get. If you get an indoor map, it's a huge W. But if you get like an outdoor map, this will suck bad. Overall, this is a C tier, just because the robbers could just cut down the webs much faster if they just cut them together. Alien. Place burrows and teleport between them. Well, this will be the first S tier, just because this slasher works so perfectly against anyone. You could get to a point A to B in just a second, and you basically can't find any survivor, really. You could just find anyone. Placing them in a loop spot also preventing most players from going there since you can just see the burrow. Overall, I don't need to say anything else. This is just like an S tier, overpowered slasher. Merch. Fire of 6 shots at any nearby survivor, damaging doors and lockers. This slash is short of like exterminator, shoot 6 times, but instead of dealing 75% health like exterminator does, this does half a hit per shot. The slasher works well and sometimes even better than exterminator in some scenarios. Like if you miss one shot, it's fine, you have 5 more shots left. And second, you can kill roamers by shooting at them a few times. And if someone uses Metal Bat on you, making you slow, you could shoot them in the time, dealing damage or even killing them. You could also use it to shoot a bush so you could instantly hit them right after. And this also counters overshield users, since when you fire it goes through the shield. I personally like the slasher a lot, but you only have 6 shots, and after you finish them, you can reload and get your 6 shots back. So I will give this like a B tier. Chapter Merch Place traps that stagger and injure survivors while revealing their location. Okay, this is kinda like Onairo and Arachne combined. You can't go through the trap or else you will get staggered and reveal your location and also deal damage. And you could remove the trap but it will take around 15 seconds which is kinda like Arachne but it's way less noticeable just because people can get mistaken by survivor merge trap. Obviously it has like a red electricity thing that reveals it's like slasher trap but most players don't realize that. Overall, I will give this like an B tier, just because it kinda combines Onairo and Arachne, I, I guess. Swap Buckler Merch. Become immune to the next blind, stagger, or slow, and then gain a brief speed boost. The slash is very overpowered in terms of loopers and trappers, since when your ability is on, it will forever be on and you can just go through wires and trap, and you won't get slowed down, but you will gain a speed boost instead. Same goes with camera or metal bat, you get speed boost. The speed boost is around 5 seconds and after it's done, you can get slowed down. This slash is pretty nice, just straight up avoid any loopers and trappers. A few downsides are like mostly roamers, since it won't really affect them usually, unless you're using something like camera which can be countered, but if you are using something like a longbow, you're good to go. Overall, this slash is pretty decent, I will personally give this that A tier. Ayla, disable survivor's gear and increased attack speed. The slash is just overpower in terms of loopers and roamers and even trappers. If you activate ability against trappers, they can't place on any wire or trap in time. Same goes with roamers who have like longo in their pocket. Well, unless you're that kid that uses Legman and Wallite, but it doesn't matter. It counters almost anything, especially loopers. If you have your shield out or bat out, well, unlucky for you, you can't use it. And the ability lasts for 20 seconds, and remember you have increased attack speed. Yeah, this slash is pretty goaded. A tier. Frontline Ayla. 
increased attack speed and creates a lockdown field to trap survivors. This is just as good as Ayla in my opinion since you can trap any survivor if they're in a group and stack kills them in one by one. You also get increased attack speed so you could just do your job easier. It's pretty overpowered in my opinion and the trap distance is pretty big so trapping them won't be a problem. A tier. Nightfall. Enters a fairy doing increased damage and become immune to staggers. Basically twice as damage and can get staggered, simple as that and it's pretty good if you use it at the right moment. Overshield users will hate since you could just avoid getting staggered. It's also good to deal damage on doors, kinda like lady, so next time you hit them, they're one tap. Overall, I will give this like a solid B tier, since it has a lot of counters to it, like roamers. Enraged Nightfall. Become enraged, increase damage, damaging nearby objects and disabling survivors. So twice as much damage and also destroying anything that is around while slowing you down and disabling your gear for at that time period, which is around 5 seconds. I will say this is really overpowered, it can be dealed with roamers and loopers, and it's overall pretty good slasher, nothing else to say. A tier. Disguised Nightfall. Tracks the path of survivors while hiding some source of basic survivor detection. So you won't get twice amount of damage sadly, but you can now see a path where survivors have been in the last 30 seconds. And you also hide the lights go out. This is really good slash to track down survivors and uh, works pretty well against roamers and people who are trying to hide. It's more like finding players and it doesn't really counter looper, but at least finding them won't be a problem. A tier. Coyote. Activate a spy drone that will be beeped when near survivors while gaining a small speed boost. If you hate finding players and also want to be fast, then this will work great. You have a drone that beeps if it's close to a survivor and you can find them easy. But it takes a bit time knowing what direction you're going since you have to turn left and right to know what beeps more. And this doesn't work from any distance sadly. So I will give this an A tier since you can find players easy but can't deal with their combos. Captain Skull. Fire your cannon that projectile will track the closest survivor and explode if it gets near. This is like Coyote but better, since you don't have to be looking for what direction the drone tells to go, the cannon just shoots towards the near survivor. And it also staggers them if it gets too close, which can work on any looper, roamer, trapper and even hider, which makes this really overpowered. You cannot only find them, but counter them with your stagger cannon, if they are close though. I will give this an S tier. Infected. Sense the presence of the closest survivor. This works sort of like Coyote and Captain Skull. This works like normal detection, but the detection is now 10 seconds, which is like slightly longer than normal detection, and survivors will know if they are detected. So if they are far away, they could just juke you with like detect juking. This mostly doesn't help anything more than just finding players, so I will just give this an A tier. Fallen. Hides all source of basic survivor detection while becoming slowed. Activate again to restore speed and jump scare nearby survivor. This is basically like Myers, but you can now have it on anytime you want. But you're going to be slowed. But then, uh, when you want to disable your ability, it jump scares if you're close to a survivor. And it's basically, jump scaring is basically like staggering the survivor. It isn't really Myers since you can hear Fallen singing or other slashers ambient depending on what skin you're using, so you will know from distance where they are. If you're a looper then this won't be a big deal because you will only get one hit once from the jump scare but that's all. And most loopers aren't one hit while in the other hands roamers are, so if you could sneak up to roamers in time you could get them. But you know, you're slow, so if they see you from far away, they could get away pretty easy. Overall, this will be a C tier. Anomaly. Clocks to become slowed, but nearly invisible. Activate again to toggle off. So you're kinda like Hunter getting invisible, but you can't have thermal vision and you get slowed down. But you can toggle on or off ability. If the survivors know what they're doing, this will be pretty useless, you know? Pretty useless since it won't do any sort of effect if you're almost invisible. If survivors could still see you and you get slowed for it, and yes, there is a bundle for the slasher, but this is no trade tier list, come on guys, this is no trade tier list, this is so bad, like it's so bad, D tier. Yeti, survivors in your vicinity begin to freeze and lose health. 
So if survivors are close and you activate its ability, they will slowly lose health and freeze up and if they want, they won't die. Just get very slow at 1 HP. This is good against loopers if they are getting looped for a long time. But against trappers or roamers, this won't really affect much. If the loopers can get away from you for just a few seconds when the ability is on, like the ability will just be over. Since it lasts 30 seconds and it takes 20 seconds to be in the cold area to freeze up and make you from 100 HP to 1 HP. So we'll give this an C tier. Val. Fire an arrow that tiles down and ensnares a nearby survivor to a small area. This is basically if the slasher had a longbow which lasts slightly longer than a normal longbow. Like around the same amount like the longbow bundle. And yeah, that's all it does. It counters any player that is in the way and you can get trapped. Roamers are kinda screwed but loopers have a chance of surviving so I will overall give this like a B. T-Rex. Bite a nearby survivor, damaging and injuring them while permanently increase your speed. To be honest, I don't really use this slasher. When I use the ability, it's kinda the same as just hitting them but just injures them. Instead of so you can't uh, heal that back and get slightly speed boost every time you bite it and it's permanent speed boost this can counter any overshield user but it i will still not use it since it's kind of whack only really counters a small amount of loopers and no not trappers or roamers or hiders or overall i i don't know i'm just gonna give this a c tier nocturne gets forcefully teleported to a survivor in the nearby area. The slash is good for finding players since you can teleport to them, pretty far distance. But the thing that ruins the slasher is the cooldown when teleporting. It takes about 5 seconds to come back and start chasing again, which makes it easy for any loopers or survivors to get away in time. You can also get juked from using the slasher. If you hide in a locker and then when he teleports to you, you can just get out of the locker and lock him in and waste his time. So yeah, this only counters to find players easier, but nothing else. So I will put this at C tier. Midnight Shadow. Completely freeze the round timer and gain a small speed boost. We don't have to talk about this one, bruh. Like S tier plus, dude. What is this? L what? If you lose with this slasher, you have skin issue. Oh my god.